the battle for Bloodhaven's heart continues, as Blockbuster's reign over the criminal underground continues to fester. Will Dick Grayson be able to stop Bloodhaven's kingpin, or will things begin to go way too far? Nightwing issue number 93 was another fantastic issue given to us by the wonderful and majestic writer Tom Taylor. Taylor once more gives us an issue that is filled of hope and a sense of joy, yet at the same time that feeling of goodness isn't particularly secured. Because like anything in life, if something you care about is left unchecked, it will eventually break. And so that's not to say if the good guys will win because they're good guys and that's how stories go, our characters will win because they give a damn, because Dick Grayson cares for Bloodhaven, and we the reader care for him as well, because Dick is actively trying, therefore we're invested, and that's something that Tom Taylor's Nightwing continues to do to great effect, while still pushing forward the story and the pieces that are involved. Heartless, the mysterious serial killer who, you know, steals hearts, that's sort of his thing, is simply much more threatening in this issue than he was in any other issues prior. This guy is clearly a powerhouse. He's got connections, he's rich, and he has allies, and he isn't afraid of rejection. Like how he saw him ask Blockbuster if he could straight up purchase Bloodhaven, only to be chucked out of a window after. Basically, his character is creepy yet intriguing, and so I can only imagine the evil that the character will unleash upon Bloodhaven. When it comes to the book's art, Rodano again doesn't disappoint. The way in which he sets up the paneling, the way Rodano organizes it through a means that comes off original, is fantastic. It brings forth a unique take of storytelling, and it adds a spark of creativeness that only enhances the ability of telling stories through comics. And of course, the images and the artwork are amazing as well. Everything is on point and direct. There's no messiness to be had, and everything is clean, and every person, object, or whatever is there for a reason. Because of that, it's easier for the reader to digest the wonderful scenery, and the colors by Adriana Lucas continue to be dope as hell. His choice of coloring depicts the character's emotions phenomenally. Like whenever you see Blockbuster get angry, rather than just see his, his pinkish face, th there's definitely this layer of red covering it, which, you know, to signify that he's pretty angry. Or when Dick Grayson's sad and doesn't really know what to do on how to save Bloodhaven, there's a shade of blue that's covering his face. It's a great way to signal and highlight what our characters are feeling. Overall, Tom Taylor brings yet another successful issue that feels very much like a superhero comic, yet also a story that's filled with great character. The pacing is phenomenal, and simply yet another love letter to the character of Dick Grayson, and how we as people have the ability to make change, and have the ability to make a place better than it was ever before. Nightwing issue number 93 gets a sexy 9 out of 10. Our story begins with the last issue left off, with the villain Heartless confronting Blockbuster in the middle of the hallway after having just massacred all of Blockbuster's security. Now, Heartless isn't all intimidated by Blockbuster's threats. Instead, he makes himself comfortable within his suite, to which he then starts the monologue. Because Heartless, he can sense that something wonderful is about to happen in Bloodhaven, and he wants that to happen, and he wants the city to feel hope. But just when the city is about to feel amazing to its whole, Heartless wants to rip out its heart before it happens. He wants to see the city grieve. And so he tells Blockbuster that he wants the kingdom. He wants everything that Blockbuster has. And he's willing to pay for it. So yeah, name your price. But Blockbuster, you know, he essentially tells him to eat crap. And he lunges himself at Heartless. And though Heartless is able to catch his punch and, you know, can seemingly actually beat him, he stands down, telling Blockbuster that if you're not willing to sell it, then I'll just have to take it. But in response... Blockbuster picks up his desk and chucks it straight towards him, knocking Heartless through the window and sending him all the way down to the ground, seemingly killing him. But if you've been reading comics for a while, then you know better than to assume. Elsewhere, we pick up in Haven, where after taking care of the vandalizers from the previous issue, Dick is now cleaning up their mess. Suddenly, while he's talking to Barbara on the other end, a squad of Bloodhaven's corrupt police ambush Nightwing, and they start firing bullets at him. Now, obviously, these cops are being paid by Blockbuster in order to take out Nightwing. But fortunately, because of his acrobatic prowess, his dope-ass skills, Nightwing is able to turn the tables on his attackers, and he's able to successfully knock them out. However, Barbara tells Nightwing to retreat because a whole bunch of police cars are heading straight for him. And so Nightwing gets on his bike and makes his escape in a scene that is very reminiscent to The Dark Knight Rises, 
where Batman was being chased by essentially every freaking cop in Gotham City. Now, once Nightwing is able to escape his pursuers, he heads over to Gotham City so that he could stay with Barbara for the night, since Bloodhaven is not a safe place for Nightwing to be roaming about. Now, after spending the night with Barbara, the following morning we see Dick cooking up some, some delicious breakfast. Now, once they're sitting down, Barbara tells Dick that she was able to identify the men who attacked Haven in the previous issue. And after showing Dick on what she found out, Dick, without realizing it, tells Barbara that she's incredible, but that he also loves her, which makes the room fill up with some awkwardness. Luckily, Dick is safe from the awkwardness, however, because of a phone call from his half-sister, Melinda, and she tells him that he needs to get back to Haven effective immediately. Thus, we switch over to Haven, where the corrupt police commissioner and his cops are harassing the kids in the hopes of driving them away. And this is all an attempt to show that Grayson's Haven project doesn't work, whilst also making Dick Grayson's image plummet. Not only that, but the commissioner has also set up a press conference for himself. And with the media there, it's a chance for the commissioner to really drive home the message that Haven is unsafe, rather as a gathering spot for criminals in order to create chaos against the city. However, that's when Dick shows up and immediately calls out the commissioner's lie. Because remember, in the last issue, Dick with Barbara's help was able to take off all the vandalizer's masks and because of Barbara's tech skills, they were able to take snapshots. Thereby, they were able to identify the perpetrators. And by sending out footage and info on the internet, everything begins to go viral, revealing that the criminals who caused the city damage were actually part of Bloodhaven's police force, police officers who worked directly under the commissioner. And so in other words, Dick Grayson used the truth to expose the commissioner's lie and he basically pants him in front of all of Bloodhaven. Thus, Dick Grayson scores another victory against corrupt institutions. Later on, we pick up with a wounded Heartless, who's shown to have survived his fall, obviously, because comics. But yeah, Heartless is able to make it back to his building, and after being greeted by his butler, Gerald, he hooks Heartless up to a machine, something that is seemingly charging his body and his enhancements. And through the scans, it showcases that Heartless's heart is about to shut down. Therefore, Gerald, after hooking his master up, walks over to a wall filled with jars, jars that are filled up with hearts, and takes a heart from the collection in order to replace the one with Heartless. Basically, Heartless has some sort of condition regarding his heart, and so the reason why he steals hearts is not just because, you know, he's a weirdo and he likes to collect them, but because he needs them as replacements. And that, folks, was the end of Nightwing, issue number 93. And thank you guys for checking out my video, as it truly means the world to me. And as always, I'm your majestic sayer of words, Supercliff. And if you guys are new to the channel, then do me a solid by smashing that like and subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell so that you'll never miss out on an upload. And so that you'll always be kept up to date with your favorite top tier comics happening in the comic book world. Now tell me, what are your thoughts and opinions on this issue? Are you guys excited for issue number 94? Let me know down in the comment section below. And until the next video, peace.